hyped you up to my buddy to turn on the screen and see this. All right, all right, I'll play a game with Battle Wits. Um, okay, two lands, thematic compass, plenty of interaction. This is like the god hand for Battle Wits. So we're going to start Polluted Delta. Oh, I just realized I don't have uh, Stream Decker set to the right deck. I'm going to get on top of that more often. Uh, all right, now it is. Cool. Thank you. All right, we're good to go now. Pass the turn. Oh, it's the same guy. All right. Well, as long as it's just the same guy. See if he can have a hand worse than Natural Tron. Play Compass. Pass the turn. Opponent's likely to just land crack map and we can't interact with that. Yeah. Hey, would you look at that? It's Tron! <laughs> Again, for the third game in a row. <laughs> like, turn three Tron. Alright, well there's the Battle of Wits. So we gotta count on Force Spike here, aka Logic Knot, to be the uh, card that does something. Oh, here he comes! Worm Coil Engine. Well, good news is, Worm Coil Engine we can actually deal with. Chromatic Star. I don't want to counter a Chromatic Star, so they can have it. Okay, come on, land. It's not a land. Oh, shoot. Okay, now we're getting into the tough decisions. Because we did not hit a land. We could play Gateway, or we can oust. If we oust, our opponent replays Worm Coil Engine, but I think that's actually okay, so we're gonna oust. We need to draw a third land for us to actually be effective here. Opponent's got Tower, and it's game. Shit like this drives me to drink. Just play against the same opponent twice and across three games, just Natural Tron every game. Natural Tron into threat, no less. I'm getting a little salty right now, but that's okay. <laughs> that shouldn't count. One more. Well, hopefully we just kick this guy's teeth in. Because he deserves it. Because Tron players deserve it. <laughs> right now. In my mind. Iona's really bad? That's true. You leave the gifts package in. We might need to beat. We might need a seven mana flying beat stick. Um. She's not good. You are correct. She is not good here. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna run seven more, uh, seven more cards in the deck than what I was before. And now I'm going to pay for it. Um, if one of those wraths was a sun scour. What a mulligan. Hey, this looks like a hand that'll get us somewhere before we die. So we're going to keep this one. <laughs> Glacial Fortress. Glacial Fortress on top. Play Flooded Strand past the turn. Hey, look at that! Every game. Um, let's see. We're going to... Hi, Midnight Pearl. How's it going? Play a Planes. Pass the turn. Basically not doing anything this turn. And on the fourth game, it wasn't turn three Tron! This means we can Talaria West for a Ghost Quarter. Oh my god. There is a Merciful Deity. Spell Queller. Hmm. Well, let's pass. 
We're going to transmute Talaria for a Ghost Quarter next turn so our opponent doesn't know it's coming. Okay, Chromatic Sphere. If, uh, if we're really lucky and Top Deck God smiles upon us, we might forbid an alchemy into a surgical. Sylvan Scrying. I'm going to quell her that. Untap. We draw Polluted Delta. Hmm. Well, let's attack for two. Transmute for a ghost quarter. Play ghost quarter. Pass the turn. Stop on our opponent's draw step. Nuke the tower. Opponent cast a Sylvan Scrying. Gets a tower. Plays the tower. Plays an expedition map. Ancient stirrings. Uh, why does it feel like delaying the inevitable right now? Opponent <laughs> gets a chromatic star. We untap. We draw. Fairy Conclave. Hmm. We're going to main phase this Forbidden Alchemy. There's an Engineered Explosives, but unfortunately it's too slow. Um, we're probably not making it to that Gear Hulk. Maybe we can. Hmm. We're going to take the Gear Hulk. Play Fairy Conclave. Get in for two. Pass the turn. Opponent. Uses both forests to crack the map. Finds the last Tron land. There's the mine. Tron assembled. Worm coil. Worm coil. Chromatic star. All right, we're not super dead instantaneously. Progress. We draw an island. Hmm. We'll play an island. Get in for two. I think we're going to mission briefing to try and set up the top of our deck. Both of those to the grave. Target deck and stone. Deck and stone the worm coil engine. Pass the turn. Opponent's got a Sanctum. Oh gosh, 10 mana. Please just be a Ballista at this point. Holding up Mission Briefing could have been correct. I'm not sure, but it could have been correct. Watch this be like a Genesis wave. It's a walking ballista. Opponent sacks Sanctum of Ugin. Gets an Ulamog. Shoots down the Spell Queller. I could always flash back Alchemy, that is true. The problem is, Deck and Stone wasn't an instant, and I really wanted that Worm Coil dead. Also, welcome new viewers to the stream. I'm Kano. We're a little bit angry that this is the third, like, match versus Tron in such a short period of time. Uh, we're going to play an island. We're going to pass, and we're going to Torrential Gear Hulk to Mana Leak this Ulamog coming down next turn.
There it is. So we're losing two lands, but we're propagating a huge threat. And it's not often you get to mana leak a 10 drop. That is, unless he's got a Simeon Spirit Guide. Opponent cracks a clue. Doesn't attack. We untap. We draw a Sun Scour. Play Polluted Delta. Attack for five. Take our opponent to nine. And now we're basically just going to fetch shock and then mission briefing in response to anything. <gasps> it's a Dragon Slayer! Hi, D Slayer. How's it going? You can use my emote now. Somebody gifted you a sub. Great Night Lord gifted you a sub. Opponent puts a counter on Ballista. Puts a counter on Ballista. And puts a counter on Ballista. It's up to five. Plays an Expedition Map. Cracks an Expedition Map. Finds a Power Plant. Opponent attacks for five. Takes us to 14. So we're going to fetch up the modern legal tundra that is Prairie Stream. Cast a mission briefing. Do we want as Kanta? <laughs> um, I don't think we want Ascanta. I think we want something that's going to end the game. And that's too high risk of just getting exiled, plus we have to wait a turn for it. So we're going to target Forbidden Alchemy. Opponent's taking an awfully long time to respond. Cast Forbidden Alchemy. Hey, Tectonic Edge. Get Tectonic Edge. Serum Visions. We'll cast Serum Visions. Draw Mana Leak. Planes to the bottom. Blessed Alliance on top. Play Tech Edge. Attack for five. Opponent just tutored up a land, did they not? They tutored up... Was it Power Plant? They revealed Power Plant. Okay. So we're going to nuke mine. So kill the mine, pass the turn. Have I ever had three useless rares in a draft before? Um, probably, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. It is a pretty feels bad thing though, I will agree. Now opponent has to chump with Ballista. Man, I really hope we stick it to him. Attack for five. Opponent shoots us four times, I assume, or five times.
Oh gosh. We go to eight. Pass the turn. We're pretty much, we could still be dead to like anything they have, especially like an Ugin. That's an Oblivion Stone. But Oblivion Stone does not kill Fairy Conclave. So much Kano on your wall right now. Hi, <laughs> Travis. Uh, Sunscour online. Oh, shoot. Thank you, opponent, for activating. So this is each non-land permanent. So we're going to animate the Conclave. Almost pass to attackers. Almost misplayed there. Take our opponent to two. Pass the turn. Yes, they did, Raylan. Yes, they did. Opponent, Chromatic Star. Cracks Chromatic Star for green. Draws a card. And they scoop justice. Okay. So now that I have time to think and I'm not super on tilt, let's think about what cards we should cut versus a Tron player. <laughs> hmm. I actually think Iona is better than some of our worst Wraths. So we're going to do that. We're going to cut a bunch of Wraths. Well, the problem, Mr. Travis, is that Tron has been wrecking us for the previous three games, and, like, not by a small amount. London Mulligan win. I want to keep Nimble Obstructionist, because, like, Stifle's really good. But, like, Battle of Wits does not actually win the game. Yeah, two singletons from the gifts package. We're mulliganing. Okay, it's not fantastic, but it can find us something. Turn 1 Ancestral seems pretty decent, so we're going to keep that on top. Opponent will probably have Tron long before that's a relevant thing, though. So, Windswept Heath, fetch up Hollowed Fountain. Suspend Ancestral. Pass the turn. The Singleton Ancestral Visions that we use for the Talari OS Transmute. The second Tron piece. Hey, it's a counterspell! And we are once again affirmed that there is justice in this world. And our opponent doesn't have Tron! Oh my gosh, it's like Christmas! Untap. Ancestral Vision's taken out, and we draw an Illumination. So let's Serum Visions. We draw a land. Polluted Delta to the bottom. Glacial Fortress on top. Play Glacial Fortress. Pass the turn. Or, er, Glacial Fortress is on top of our deck, excuse me. Opponent Ancient Stirrings. You got it. You got an Ancient Stirrings. But it finds a forest. Plays a forest. Passes the turn. Well, we untap, we draw the land. Play the land. Play treasure map. Pass the turn. Thank you. Thank you, D-Slayer. It is much appreciated that your terrible Tron luck is currently rubbing off on my opponent. Opponent casts a Thought Not Seer. We absolutely will not be allowing that Thought Not Seer to resolve. Fetch up an island. Logic Knot. Uh, we have Snapcaster in hand. One moment. So just for two.
Okay, on our upkeep. Before Ancestral comes down, we're going to Scry. I'm going to keep that on top because I really, really want to Surgical a Tron piece here. Oh my god. Oh boy. It's like Christmas all over again. So I'm going to cycle this Hieroglyphic Illumination and play a Stony Silence. Because synergy with treasure map. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a thought knot. Probably has to take gifts ungiven here. If they don't take gifts ungiven, they're going to be very, very sad. I can promise you that. We're punished for not thinking about surgicaling the Thought Knot Seer on draw. That's fair. All right, pass the turn. We're just going to Gifts. Provided our opponent doesn't cast something huge that does whatever it's going to happen right here. If our opponent casts something that can destroy a land, we're going to have to negate and then path. It's a Karn. Negate the Karn. Opponent attacks with Thought Knot. Path Thought Knot. They get a land, we draw a card. Blessed Alliance, A. Eh? Untap, we draw, condemn. Okay. Well, we are going to Surgical Karn on their draw step and get a good look at their hand. Oh, they're holding another Karn. A World Breaker and two Worm Coils, I see. Well, unfortunately, we can't interact with any other threat of theirs right now. Opponent starts Chromatic Sphere. Casts a World Breaker. Hitting Stony Silence. What'd we say was in their hand? Worm coil engines? All right, gifts our opponent. I think I'm going to get Terastid on. I'm going to go on Unburial Rites. Well, that is when Moto stops lagging. Terastodon on burial rights.
Go ahead and throw those in the grave for me. Thank you. Untap. We draw an oust. Well, that's actually super, super good. So if we blow up the tower and surgical the tower, they have six lands remaining. So if we blow up two of their lands, they have to have a land. Let's blow up two of their lands and one of ours. But we know we're hitting the tower. Deck and stone would be amazing for the upcoming worm coils. You are correct. Let's just hit all of their Tron pieces. And we're going to Surgical Tower on draw. Opponent has three Worm Coil engines in hand. Oh gosh. All right. Not hitting Ghost Quarter over useless Tron land because if our opponent wants to sack one of their own lands, they can be my guest. We're not running out of basics anytime soon, and it would turn on Condemn <laughs> or Map. Opponent finds a Chromatic Sphere. Plays a Chromatic Sphere. Cracks Chromatic Sphere for green and draws. Plays a Chromatic Star. Cracks Chromatic Star. I think they're looking for a land. They didn't find one. Opponent goes on the offensive. We block the biggest threat. Take nine. Says the man who won the last game with a man land. Oh yeah, you're right. You are right. So we're going to pass block and two mode Blessed Alliance. Or two mode Blessed Alliance and then block. Excuse me. I'm gonna play his Chromatic Sphere. Cracks it for green. Casts an expedition map. Cracks the expedition map, desperately looking for a land. Finds a power plant. Plays a power plant. Attacks for nine. We gain four life and they sack an elephant. We block an elephant and take three. We untap. Scry on our upkeep. Find a land. Leave it on top. Draw the land. Play the land. We attack for nine. Pass the turn. Opponent attacks for three. We condemn the Lefant. Opponent does not have another land. We draw Jace. Flip the map. Gideon on top. And attack for nine. We're attacking for nine because that's how we're ending the game. Play to Fairy. Plus to Fairy. Draw Gideon. Untap some lands. Pass the turn. Our opponent scoops it up. And that's how we beat Tron with a heavier mid-range blue-white Battle of Wits deck. <laughs>